kids, Mrs. Koenig here from Kingdom Kids. Today I'm going to tell you the parable of the sower. A sower is someone who plants or sows seeds, like a farmer. A parable is a story that Jesus told to help people understand the kingdom of God. Each parable taught a lesson, for those who would understand, about the kingdom of God. But not all people understood, so sometimes Jesus would have to explain the parable, the story, even to the disciples. In Matthew 13, 1 through 9, Jesus tells the story. People could understand a story about a farmer, but Jesus had a bigger message. So in Matthew 13, 18 through 23, he explains the parable. So let's hear the story first. It was the time of year for the farmer to sow or plant his seeds. So off he went down the path to the garden. My seeds, my seeds, I'm sowing all my seeds. My seeds, my seeds, I'm sowing all my seeds. But some landed on the hard packed ground of the path. No sooner had the seeds landed on the path than a flock of birds flew in and they were hungry. And the birds ate up all the seeds. These seeds didn't even have a chance to grow. But did the farmer get mad? No. God is good, and he kept on sowing his seeds. My seeds, my seeds, I'm sowing all my seeds. My seeds, my seeds, I'm sowing all my seeds. But some of the seeds landed on the rocky soil. There was a little bit of soil between the rocks and some of the seeds started to sprout. And they started to grow. But when the hot midday sun came out, the little seeds weren't strong enough and they began to wither. These seeds didn't have a chance to grow. But did the farmer get mad? No. God is good, so he kept on sowing his seeds. My seeds, my seeds, I'm sowing all my seeds. My seeds, my seeds, I'm sowing all my seeds. But some of the seeds fell on good ground that had thorny weeds growing in it. The seeds took sprout and started to grow. They wanted to grow to be big and tall, just like the thorny weeds. But the bigger the plants grew, the bigger and stronger and more thorny and thicker the thorny weeds grew. Soon, the thorny weeds were controlling where the plants could grow and the plants started to wither. The plants didn't have a chance to grow. But did the farmer get mad? No, God is good and he kept on sowing his seeds. My seeds, my seeds, I'm sowing all my seeds. My seeds, my seeds, I'm sowing all my seeds. Well, some seeds fell into the garden with the good soil and the right amount of sun. The seeds sprouted and grew. And as they grew, they produced more seeds. And they sprouted and they grew. And as they grew, they produced more seeds. And those seeds sprouted and grew. And soon the farmer had a huge harvest, more than he had ever planted. And the farmer said, God is good.
my seeds, my seeds. I've planted all my seeds, my seeds, my seeds. I've planted all my seeds. So what do you think that story meant? Was it just a lesson on how to plant seeds? Was it a lesson to the farmer that he should pay more attention? No, Jesus had a more important lesson than that. This is how he explained it. The ground or the soil is like a person's heart. We'll draw that in red. The word of God are like the seeds and we'll draw that in yellow. When the seeds fell on the hard path, it was like the word of God falling on a hard heart. The heart doesn't have a chance, like the seeds, to receive it, so it is taken away. The heart can't understand. When the seeds fall in the rocky soil, it's like the word of God is received, but the heart doesn't fully understand. When bad things happen, it lets the word fall away. And the heart gives up. Then the seeds think they will grow great within the thorny weeds. This is when the heart thinks it understands. But the heart also loves the things around it, like money, a big house, or their phone. They start to control the heart and the word falls away. The other things have taken control. Finally, <clears throat> the seed finds good soil. Now the heart fully understands. The word grows bigger and the faith in the heart grows with it. And the heart spreads the word to another heart. And another heart, and another heart. And the word of God spreads on and on and on. When we share the gospel, the word of God, with others, they will understand it in different ways. Should we get mad? No. Keep sowing your seeds, the word of God. Some people will hear, but won't give the word a chance. They don't understand at all. Some people will hear, but when something bad happens, they give up. They try to understand, but they don't know how. Some people will hear and think they understand because everything is good. They really don't fully understand and they let other things take control. Thankfully, some people will hear the word of God and understand it. Their faith will grow and they will spread the word to those around them, sharing Jesus and the kingdom of God. Jesus used this parable to help people understand God's kingdom. The lesson is true even today, but people respond in different ways. Should you get mad? No, God is good. I pray that each of you understood the parable of the sower and will plant the seeds of God's word in those around you. My seeds, my seeds, I've planted all my seeds. My seeds, my seeds, I've planted all my seeds.